All right, it's time for the third trial in Hogwarts Legacy. This quick and easy guide is going to get you through it. Once you enter the storybook, you will be beginning your third trial. And this is a doozy. This is a good one. It's pretty quick. It's pretty easy. Just follow my directions here, and I'll get you right through it. Once you walk forward and the world begins to spawn around you in this weird kind of style they've decided to go with with this trial because it's kind of like a little a little story, a little memory, uh, you're going to walk forward and you're going to go across this bridge. Now, once you get over here, there's going to be some dialogue, some talking, and you're going to see an event take place. Death is going to appear, and you're going to see some of his goons, his little deathly apparitions appear now these are the things we're going to try to be avoiding detection from and sneaking around the regular villagers are no big deal only these you need to worry about so you're going to automatically enter into stealth mode you don't have to do anything the game does it for you and what we're going to do here is it's pretty easy to sneak past them you're just waiting for them to turn their back so as that guy walked over to that side and they all got their back turned i can slip right through the middle go under this and then we're going to walk up the path now, you don't have to worry about this guy. I was kind of freaked out because I was like, oh, how am I going to sneak past this guy? But it actually turns out that the regular looking people, you don't have to worry about. You can just walk right past. You're not having to sneak past them. All right, now, when you hop down here, you're going to continue down the path. You're going to make this little left turn here. And there you go. Here we've got some more. So what you want to do is just get behind this crate. That one on the left is already turned. But if you get up too close, if you try to go behind this way, he's going to catch you. Don't do that. What you actually want to do here is just make sure that all their backs are turned opposite of the middle of the path here, okay? So see, he has now turned. Everybody's facing the other way. I can walk directly down the path now without being caught. Now, we're going to be coming around this corner. We've got some more here. Once again, we're just waiting for everybody to turn their back. And you can see the quest marker right there. That's where you're trying to go directly to. So there he goes. Now we can make our way down, right to this quest marker down in this water. Alright, now we're turning down this way. Death is going to appear again. Once he's gone, you can move on forward. We're going to go through this tunnel here, under this bridge. Make a left. Okay, now we're headed towards that ladder. Now some stuff is going to happen here. There's going to be some spawns appear. Pretty much, as soon as it allows you to move, just head straight for this ladder and climb up it. Now once on top of this house, what you want to do, uh, there's not <laughs> really any other way to go. Uh, you're going to have to head over here to to the left and you're going to walk along this side of the home until you get to the other side and then you can jump down continue following the path and here we have some more things to sneak past just to remember everything needs to be facing away from the path so that one's walking we're gonna have to go quick as soon as he is past the path we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna walk through we're gonna take this right path here and come around the corner we've got another one here okay we're gonna have to be careful we're gonna wait for this guy he's got his back turned okay we're heading on through now watch out for this second guy all right we're gonna sit here and we're gonna wait for him okay he's got his back turned that one is a little bit the one behind us is too far away so we can go ahead and we can sneak over to this area here and let's check him out he's still looking that way so let's head on through the tunnel all right now we've come to death again we can see him up ahead he's gonna summon some more creatures of course now you want to back up they can see you almost immediately so back up here to this light post and then you're going to see this door head through this home and inside of here there's going to be some steps go ahead and go up those and we're going to make a right after we go up the steps and whoops we got a guy all right he's got his back turned let's go moving forward all right and we, it looks like there's two in here so we're gonna have to wait for a, a good opportunity here because we need to go all the way through this room to the other side there where you can see the quest marker all right looks like his back is turned now this part's tricky but if you follow slowly behind him once he gets over towards that corner you can slip on through go across the bridge make a right now we're going to be going down here to the left so go ahead and hop down all right now you have made it to your first item to collect here, the Mysterious Cloak. Now this makes you, uh, how to say, super invisible. So now the sneaking is kind of over. You've, you've beat that part of the trial. Because now they literally can't, can't detect you with this, with this cloak that you may recognize from the books and movies. Now, you don't even have to worry about it. Just walk right through these guys. It doesn't matter. You are, you've got true invisibility now. So just... Continue on down to get here to death. And then you're going to make a left. And we'll head towards this tree. You're headed to this platform right here. Alright, we have another item here we're going to collect. So just walk towards it. 
Now we're going to grab this wand. This is a very powerful wand that's going to allow you to do some big damage. Alright, so just walk forward, let the world materialize around you. And then we're going to head over here. And you're going to use your push spell and knock down the wall so you can continue forward. Continue down the path. Watch for the quest marker there, and it's going to lead you to here. Now, in this portion of the trial, we're going to be fighting. So, you're going to see these little death shadows appear. I want you to take those out. Just dodge them, roll out of the way. Use dodge a lot, and just take them out. Your new wand is very powerful. It does a lot of damage. Most likely, a lot more than your regular wand when you're playing the game. After you defeat them, the gate opens. Head on through. And you're going to come to another gate that is sealed. And guess what? We got some more baddies to take out. So kill the Death Shadow, same as before. There are going to be some wolves this time. They do lurch at you, so keep an eye on them. The wolves do have low health, so taking those out could be a priority if you're having trouble, if they're lurching at you from all angles. But just basically kill everything here. I found my red spells to be particularly damaging to the Death Shadows and to the wolves. Most, sometimes one-shotting them. Now, after you have defeated them all, the gate is going to dissipate, and you'll be able to continue on through. So head on in and make a right. You're going to climb up this wall here, make another right. Now, you are in an arena, and death is going to pop out here. And basically, what you're going to be looking at is waves of enemies. Now, there's going to be trolls, wolves, and more death shadows. So just be careful. Watch out for the trolls, of course, throwing rocks. Roll a lot. And just take them out as you can. Use potions if needed. And just enjoy those big numbers because this wand is awesome. Now after you defeat the, the very first wave, he's going to summon another wave. This will be the last one. You are almost done. It's the same as before. There's just going to be more of them. So roll a lot and kill the trolls because they do some pretty massive damage. And all the extra baddies. Same as before, just more of them. And once you've defeated them all, the gate is going to open over here to the left of the arena. And you're going to see the quest marker. Just head on through there. And guess what? Once you head down this way, you're going to hit up your portal right here. And you're going to be collecting your final item. Now, this final part of the trial is really just for story. Uh, you're going to hear people mourning and upset about the death of the character that you're about to go to. Just walk down the only path that's available to you. We're going to head up these stairs and towards this grave area. And congratulations, you have beaten the third trial of Hogwarts Legacy. If you want more guides, more walkthroughs, tips, etc., there are plenty on the channel and lots more to come. Please like the video and please subscribe for more.